Now it's time to add a top line. Now in a previous video, we have gone through the process of adding a new top line and so on. But we're going to show you, I'm going to show you how to do that uh, when you are actually working in the, the Locus itself. So here we're in Locus 1. It's time for us to put in a top line. Um, not, where you'll find the top plans are over here in the square information and you hit the top plans and this is where you add the top plans and I can do it, I can add one now, just continue to add top plans every day. But what happens often is that you're working on the locus, so we're going to go back to the last locus. We're working on the locus of printing information, we say, oh, okay, now is the time I need to put in a top line. So I select the top plan button, it's blank, there's nothing there. So what am I going to do? What I'm going to do now is I'm going to click the new button and it'll automatically take me over without going through all those steps, all those buttons to get to the square information and to the top lines. It'll automatically take me there. So now here we are and I'm going to add the new, click new and then I'm going to select the date. So we can have today's date, insert the date of this recording and then I don't know what the description is but now it's time for me to add. I'm going to tap on here go to photos, in this case we can go to photos all, and I just happen to have a handful of top plans that I can add. So I'm going to just add this one and see if that shows me anything. Yeah, and it does. So here, it, it has a lot of more information in here than I, I was looking for. Maybe I accidentally, whoops, I chose the wrong one, so I'm going to go back here, I'm going to replace it, go back to my photos, see if I can find something that's a little simpler that has simpler top line. Here's a good one. Okay, so here we go. Now here's the top plan, and as I look at it, I can view and say, okay. Now you'll notice that this was a paper top plan. It was drawn on a paper, and then the iPad took a photograph of this, so I have a copy of the the top plan on in the photograph, in on the iPad itself. And this is a record. So now we're going to call this is Locus 1. You can see it says Locus 1 on the top line. Uh, unfortunately, we've cut out the supervisor and the date at the top, but that's okay. Uh, we're, go we're going to make sure I take a better picture of it. It looks a little bit wonky, so you want to position your iPad directly over and face down and try to square it up. You can use the camera feature or you can use one of the other features like the scan feature to take the picture. Again, it's recommended that you take the picture first and then upload the photograph. Don't use the camera because then there won't be a copy. So here is Locus 1. Uh, now, the next most important step is, is watch what happens when I go back. I'm going to go back. I'm going to go over to the last. I'm going to hit my top plan and hey, wait a minute, the top plan's not there. The reason it's not there is because we didn't tell the top plan and that this was for Locus 1. So we need to go back. I'm just going to click the new because it's going to take me back where I was. And over on the right side it says top plan loci. Which loci are in the top plan? Now I'm going to put the number 1 in there because this is Locus 1. And I'm going to put some description in the, in the box. I'm going to say, um, let's see, this is uh, rubble, rubble. Oh, no, we, this is topsoil. Let's put topsoil. And debris. Now you will consult your dig manual and your field supervisor on how to best describe what your what's in your top plan. I'm just putting some information here. Now that I've done that, um, it's time for me to go back. So I'm going to hit home page. I'm going to hit last, and now look what happens when I select the photos. Notice, the, not the locus photo, top plan. Notice what happens when I hit the top plan. See it has the date? I'm going to select the date, and there it is. Tap on the button. Oh, sorry, hit the wrong button. And go back. And there's my top plan. Now, it's uh, blown, blown up. When you tap on it, it will actually um, uh, shrink down to be uh, a size which is fits within the box. But the only reason why it's here is because that one, we added that one, the low side that are in the top line, locus one. And you can add locus two, locus three, depending on how many loci may be inside on your top line. So let's try that. Let's add a new one, but this time we're going to add uh, another locus. We're going to put in today's date. Okay. 
insert, current date, tap outside the box, go to photos, this time we're going to go and we're going to bring in, there's a couple, some more loci in here, okay, I'm going to tap on this to see just, I'm going to view this a little bit bigger so I can see that it has locus 11, locus 13, locus 8, uh, and so on, so I'm going to, I'm done with that, now I'm going to go and put over here, Locus 8, tap outside the box. Locus 11, tap outside the box. And Locus, okay, I forgot which one it is. Let's review again. View and Locus, so I see a Locus 6, a Locus 5, and a Locus 13. And you want to put all of the Locus that you label on your um, top line. So we're going to Locus 6 and Locus 13. Okay, so now that they're done, when I go back to the home and I go back to the Earth locus, once uh, here I'm on locus number one, I'm going to hit the top lens and notice that only one top lens is here, only this one from 716. We can't see the others. In order to see the others, we would have to add more loci. We'd have to add locus 8, locus 11. Once that is done, then those that top line will show up in locus 5, locus 4, locus 11, whichever has numbers have been put inside that locus box. So that that's how you put in top plans. And now we're going to look at another tab.